Hey guys, Alan here, back in the workshop for the last time in 2021. Uh, Christmas is in the rearview mirror and uh, just managed to find a few minutes to come back out in the workshop. Don't want to stay here very long today though because it's damn hot. 39 degrees if you don't mind. Uh, anyway, um, I finished the uh, how to make this um, uh, lathe tool bit grinding jig just before Christmas. But it was done in a rush and I didn't actually get to finish painting it or uh, using it. So in this, this is a short video, I'll just show you how I've got all this tidied up and uh, show my first uh, grinding job with it and uh, that it all worked out. So let's get into it. So I blued all the pieces that would move against each other. So the uh, retaining disc here, the step axle that goes through the, um, the body of this thing. Um, and the other retaining uh, disc on the back here. Um, I might have <coughs> might have blued this piece as well um, if I'd had enough uh, bluing compound but basically I just ran out so it's got to be the way it is. But anyway it looks a bit better with some paint and bluing I guess. It doesn't look quite so much like a refugee from the scrap heap. Uh, anyway, let's go and put it on the, um, the grinding machine and see if it works. Okay, so we're all set to go. Uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to read that, but that's uh, got that set at 15 degrees. So for my first stab, I'm going for 15 degrees of um, side rake uh, with no top rake, and then we'll come back and do some clearancing. The front rake is going to come from the, uh, the shape on this uh, new piece of... Um, High speed steel. All right, well, let's give it a go. Make sure everything's clear to start with. Yep. So let's pull this out and check our progress. Okay, well we've obviously got quite a way to, ways to go yet. So I'll bring you back, we've made some more progress. So halfway through grinding the side rake, I noticed that the wheel was starting to get a bit clogged. So I needed to clean it up using the diamond tip dresser which you can see here and that uh, dressing stone is mounted in a main bearing cap of an old Holden grey motor for those in, uh, people who have lived in Australia long enough to remember such things well, let's clean the wheel up ready for another go okay so time to uh, check see how things are coming along I've had a quick sne a sneak peek over the back and it looks like the uh, Side rake's done. Pull that out and have a look. Well, that's pretty good, happy with that. So now we've got to do the uh, side clearance. So shooting for five degrees of side clearance and um, I did this uh, top rake angle first because the grinding would be away from the edge. But now I can do the grinding towards the edge, which is much preferred as I put this uh, uh, side clearance on. Shit, that was hot. <laughs> Should have expected that anyway. Now, there we go. So, that's the uh, front and top ready for dressing with a diamond stone. That was bloody hot, that was. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is uh, the top uh, front clearance, which will be going in from this side, from this angle. So, for the front clearance angle, um, I'll go with five degrees, same as I did for the side. Um, 
and I'll follow the uh, the the existing angle on this new block for the for the rest of the the, the angle on the front there. So I checked on progress with the little mirror and I think if you look closely you'll be able to see that the grinding pattern is almost up to the top face of the lathe bit now. So we're nearly finished. Just a few light cuts left to take. And perhaps you can see that the wheel is starting to get clogged again, a little bit clogged. So I think it's time for another um, um, attack with a dressing stick. But I won't bore you with that. Okay, so a final check with the mirror shows that the, uh, the, the the front face of the tool has been ground now all the way up to the top and you can see it's clear right to the, that leading point. So the, that uh, let's finish grinding that uh, front face. Time to take it out and clean it up with the diamond laps. Probably should have had some coolant on it. Well, that's uh, so, many, uh, so many things to think about when you're doing something for the first time. But uh, yeah, it looks like I should have had some coolant on it, at least some air. Anyway, uh, clean it up and then see how it cuts. So that's the final version. So for the test cut, I'm going uh, 0.5 millimeter depth of cut in a bit of uh, 20 mil aluminium bar. And that's uh, really what I sharpened this tool for, for, for cutting aluminium. Oh, that's pretty good. So that's a pretty good surface finish. Happy with that. OK guys, well that's wrapped that up. This has been uh, tested now. Found to do what I want it to do. Found it quite easy to use to create this uh, sharpened tool. And got a good result in my aluminium test bar. So that's all great. Now, something else. Uh, I noticed that in the last few days, a number of subscribers went over 500. And that really surprised me, I have to say. Uh, I didn't at the start of all this lot imagine that uh, what I was doing would be interesting to so many people. But of course, I'm pleased that it is. And thank you very much for your support. And certainly, um, many of the comments I've had over the last year have been encouraging and useful. So keep, keep those up. Uh, you might see a little note on the board behind me. Hopefully uh, next year is uh, better for you all than this year. Shouldn't be that hard to achieve, should it? I mean, 2021 is a pretty low bar with uh, COVID and all that nonsense. And there's a lot of other aggravations as well for many of us. But anyway, um, let's look forward to, to all good things. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in my future videos. So cheers. <laughs>